Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I have an Avon video for you today and it's been like two weeks since I did an Avon video. Um, I have like a lot of chitter chat about Avon today. So um, first of all, I want to say we are in the middle of campaign 11 right now. Campaign 11 is the bug guard issue. So um, yeah, that's going on right now and I will put the description or the dates for campaign 11 in the description um, section of the video below and um, let's see what else before I forget good news the Avon eyeshadow primer is coming back uh, Avon listened to us and how much we love the primer and how good of a product it is and they have brought it back so that is fantastic 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 I was totally overjoyed when I discovered that it was coming back um, just really really pleased and really excited and um, I believe that will be in like campaign 14 or 15 I'm not sure which when I know for sure uh, I'll let you guys know my allergies are bothering me too so if you see me doing this or sniffling that's what's going on I have the window open and uh, Keith's mowing the lawn so it's definitely I got that you know how like the tip of your nose starts to tickle or whatever um, okay, so I will show you what I have on today on my face. It's Avon. And as you can see, if you remember, if you're on my Facebook, you know I posted a while back, should I let the gray go? And I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. So not yet. Anyways, um, I have a lot of gray. My mother was, white hair runs in my family. My mother's hair started to turn white when she was 18. So luckily mine's not that um, progressed, but I definitely have a lot of white in it and uh, I was kind of contemplating letting it go but uh, I just don't think I'm ready yet. I'm just not there at that point. But um, I'm going to show you guys what I have on my face. That's Avon. Um, once again I have on my Mark Give em Gel liner. I have been wearing this and wearing this and wearing this. It's so fantastic. I love it. And the little goes such a long way. I mean I don't know if I would be able to use this whole pot up before it dries out. I hope I can, you know, but like a cream product has a shelf life and it just so you only need such a little amount that it, it goes so far. Um, the lipstick I have on, I believe is called peach petunia. Pe I'll have to look, but it's, um, one of the, it was the ultra hydrating or was it ultra nourishing and they just recently changed the name, but it's a really pretty coral shade for spring. I just think it's really nice. These are so comfortable to wear and they smell really good. They smell really yummy. And these are like kind of a, a lighter sheerish type formula. I really, really enjoy these lipsticks a lot. And I thought this one would uh, look good with this eye look today, which is not very springy, <laughs> but it is, um, let me, let me wipe this lipstick swatch off before I get it all over um the the eyeshadow is not very springy but I can't help it I'm just never one of those people that follows along you know so the eyeshadow quad is warm sunrise some of you probably already recognized it just from the way it looks because it's a very distinct eyeshadow quad in Avon's um true color shadow quads I mean it's easy to spot it's got distinctive shades in it so that's warm sunrise this is such a beautiful quad I love it one of my favorites so I dug it out and uh, used it today and I'm gonna keep it in my basket for at least another week or so so I can hit it up again and then I have two blushes on today um, I have warm honey which I used as a blush and then I also put like some of it up here in my hairline um, it's a kind of like a bronzy neutral color but it does have shimmer in it so like I wouldn't unless I wouldn't suggest using it as a bronzer exactly uh, because it is very shimmery but I kind of just today felt like I wanted to put a little bit up there in my hairline area so so I used it uh, on my cheeks and up in that hairline area there but then I also took you know what, I can swatch that for you guys too. You might want to see a swatch of it now that I think about it. So this is the Warm Honey. And that's what it looks like. So it's just like a really light bronzy shade, but it does, like I said, have that golden shimmer to it, which it's not like a highly chunky glitter or anything, but still, when it comes to bronzers, usually, especially me, I like a matte one just because I'm so fair that it doesn't... 
it looks odd on me if I have a lot of sparkly bronzer on. And then I threw this candlelight over top of it, which Avon calls a blush, but to me it's kind of like a highlight or a blush topper. It's very pale, but it does have, it's like a very, very pale coral, but it does have some shimmer in it. And I threw that on the top in my highlight area. I don't even know if I swatch it, if you'll be able to see it or not. It's very, it's like right here, very faint. It's just kind of like a nice subtle highlight shade. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in that or not. So that's what I have on my face. It's Avon today. Um, so anyways, okay, what else was I going to talk about? So I'm in a weird situation right now where I haven't, I don't have a campaign 11 brochure to go over with you guys. Um, usually, you know, I like take the brochure and I, and I go over it and, you know, we go through it uh, page by page or whatever. Well, the last two campaigns, um, campaigns, uh, nine and campaigns 10, I haven't placed an, a physical order, like where I actually gather up customer orders and go on um, my, you know, web office and place an order because I haven't had any orders to place. Now I have had my online orders from all you fabulous online customers that I have, and I really appreciate that. But when I place my my personal physical order for customers that I have local that I service, that's when I get my brochures and I haven't had any. Um, now I feel weird about this because I, I do want to eventually make the transition to being completely online, but at the same time, I'm like, well, I'm going to have to at least place an order here and there for some brochures. But then I thought, well, do I want to buy brochures if I don't really need them? You know, if I, if my customers, make that transition to going online, do I want to foot the bill for brochures, which I think uh, we pay about six, eight dollars for a pack of brochures, which is 10 brochures. Um, do I want to fit the bill for that, which isn't a lot of money every two weeks. And I know that sometimes I'm going to be placing orders because there's things I want. For example, in this campaign, campaign 11, um, I'm going to place an order whether I have any others, other orders to place or not because there's some things I want for myself. There's a new foundation coming out in campaign 12 and a concealer that I want to demo for you guys. So I'm going to I'm going to place an order for that so that I have it to do a video for when campaign 12 begins. But um I'm like what do I do? Well then I thought I always have the you know I always have um my tablet and I can look at the brochure online just like you guys do and we can kind of go over it that way. Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to think up new ways to do this if I don't always have a physical brochure on hand. Um, so I don't know. We'll figure that out. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm still in the, you know, how to do this phase. And then also I wanted to talk about for a moment, um, I'm sure some of you guys have noticed in the last few campaigns the prices for the Avon have gone up. Um, Avon has always been the kind of company where the brochure price, for example, on the uh, Farway perfume it may be $24, but rarely is it $24. It, at $24, it might be buy one, get one free. So essentially you're paying $12 a bottle. Or it might run, run on sale for $11.99 a bottle or $9.99 a bottle. Um, and that's how it's always been. Now, when we, um, like the Glimmer Stick Eyeliners, lots of times, $2.99. The, re the regular price on them was $7, but, you know, they would run on sale $2.99. Or buy one, get one free. Or buy one, get one half off. Or a few times a year, they even ran a sale, like at holiday and in the summertime, four for $10, which was fantastic. Well, the thing is, is that when we, uh, Avon reps, we constantly in the United States, it's not like this in Canada and in the other countries, but in the United States, we are always working on three campaigns. So I might be on campaign 11 right now, but my customers locally that I service can, can order out of campaign 11, campaign 10, and campaign 9. I'm, I have the ability to go back and back order for them, and I can get the best price for them out of the three brochures. And Avon always fluctuated their prices brochure to brochure quite a bit. So say you might have that glimmer stick sale in, in a given campaign for, for $10, but in the next campaign, they might be $4.99 a piece, you know? So if you didn't, if you didn't get that sale price, 
in that given campaign. And so then, like, the next time somebody said, well, last campaign they were four for $10, and this time they're $5 a piece, you know, how is that fair? So what Avon has done is instead of fluctuating so dramatically between campaign, I'm using my hands, so I always do that when I talk, um, instead of fluctuating so dramatically from campaign to campaign, what they are doing is they are being more consistent with their pricing. And I wasn't sure how I felt about that because... On the one hand, I love it that you that the customers can get these really, really good products at a really good price. On the other hand, it was difficult for me sometimes to always stay on top of what the best, best price was for my local customers um, and to look ahead. So like if somebody ordered uh, a necklace that was $7 in a current campaign and then two campaigns up, it was you know, on clearance for $1.99. A necklace is a bad example, but you understand what I'm saying. So it, it did get to be sometimes tedious to try to handle all that fluctuation in pricing. So Avon has, um, what they've done is they've kind of just regulated it. They've kind of gone in the middle. So you're still going to get sales, but they're not going to be as dramatic as they were. And the actual prices of products I don't think are so much going up is they're just not going to be so it's such a deep sale on them. Um, you're still going to see some of the perfumes for $9.99 here and there. I would say more commonly like your Far Away, Haiku, and those will probably be $12.99. Um, between the $12 to $14 range, um, I would think your Glimmer Sticks are usually, if they're on sale, maybe they're going to be $4 or $5 now um, instead of like... Two ninety nine or four for ten, um, so yeah, that is a bummer that they have have changed that. But on the other hand, it's still really competitive pricing with other brands, and I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I wanted to address this issue or not. Um, but then again, I kind of feel like it's insulting to you guys if I just continue to go on like nothing has changed, and you're like, hey, hello, uh, we noticed the prices have gone up, and you're not saying anything about it. So I didn't want you to feel like I was trying to pull one over on you, or that I, um, you know, that I'm not aware of that because I buy the Avon too. So for me, you know, it's the same thing. I do get a discount, but you know, I I, I purchase Avon also. So that's why they've done that, and um, I still think that the prices are really good. Uh, I honestly do believe that. I believe that they are on par with the drugstore um, a little bit now and still in some cases less than drugstore. Um, I think the skincare is still phenomenally priced compared to what it is in the market. You know I'm a skincare junkie. You guys know I'm always buying skincare, all different brands. So I'm really, really knowledgeable about skincare prices. And even skincare prices are still fantastic and fabulous and you cannot beat them. So um, I just wanted to address that issue and I don't want you to ever think that I'm ignoring you guys or, you know, like trying to pull something over on you or or what have you, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I just wanted to bring that up. So yes, I am aware that the prices have gone up and I hope you can understand why and, you know, stick with Avon and the things that you love from Avon. Okay, now that being said, blah 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 blah, I'll get into campaign 11. Um, what I'm gonna do though is, uh, well, like this is the bug guard issue, and there's some fun things in campaign 11. Um, obviously, everybody pretty much knows what the bug guard is, and um, they they're having everything available still. I really like the towelettes; they're very convenient for keeping like in your purse. Um, they come in those silver silver foil packages. They're just really convenient to have on hand for like um, any kind of outdoor activities, ball games, picnics, you know, just to find yourself hanging out with somebody outside all of a sudden and the mosquitoes start buzzing around. We've already had mosquitoes here in Michigan. Um, so really, really nice. And some of them have um, SPF in them, so that's really good too. And then also there is a new limited edition um, Senses line, which is Sweet Lemon, Blossom, and Basil. I have not smelled that yet, so I don't know. I am a fan of lemon things, though, but I have not um, had a chance to try that one yet, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, but I'm sure it smells good, you know. And then they have Father's Day sales coming um, on Campaign 11 is buy one, get one free on the men's fragrances like um, Alpha, Blue Escape, Mesmerize Black, the regular Mesmerize, Exploration, Perceive. Um, so those are all buy one, get one free in Campaign 11. And um, so like I said, they're regularly, um, I think all of them are $23 normal price. 
Yep, all regular $23, so they're buy one, get one free. So that's just an example. Like, instead of buying, you know, having one on sale for $9.99 or whatever, they're just going to do that deal instead. And then, um, let me see what else. A lot of the stuff that they put in the brochures or in the What's New are like selling tips for us. So I don't need to go over that stuff with you guys. There's this really pretty um, spring flowers collection. Uh, necklace and earrings it comes in like a cream color or green i think that's so pretty i just can't wear that kind of stuff i don't know i can't stop touching it like when i wear it i'm constantly touching that's weird so th we got that going on there's a really pretty sterling silver champagne uh cubic zirconia champagne ring it's going to be intro price at 34 and 99 look how pretty that is gorgeous and then some uh flower expansion watches right here down here those are really cute too with those floral bands and I love the green face on that one so there's just lots of uh good stuff oh, this dress is killing me you guys I love it um this is called the bold and the beautiful rose print dress and it does go up to 3x hello sexiness I love the dress <laughs> I love it <gasps> It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So pretty. And then they've got some like Americana um, flip flops and jewelry in time for Memorial Day coming up and everything like that. Really quick, just to see if there's anything else I'll show you guys. And then, and let's see, then we have these birthstone bracelets with the charm. Those are new. And um, these inspirational bracelets also very nice and a necklace which has i'm you know what i ever since i saw this this will pro i'll probably order this too um it's got the 31 proverbs 31 on it i just love that so much if you can't see it and you're not familiar with that verse it's she is clothed in strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future i love that so much i have a um Keith got me a print of that that's framed to hang on the wall and I I really love it I find it very comforting and I find it very inspiring you know that verse is just really really nice very nice so what I was going to show you though really quick hopefully really quick because I don't want to have too long is so I don't like I said I don't have the uh, campaign 11 brochure but let me close out my Facebook because I had that open. I got my tablet out here and it's kind of grungy, so sorry. My <laughs> I, I need a new cover really bad. So I'm, I'm pulling up my e-brochure on uh, my tablet so that I can show you guys what it looks like. Now the description, or the I'm sorry, the, the link to my web store is always in the description bar of my videos. So that's in all of them. And all you have to do is click on that link and it will take you right over to my e-store also on my homepage of the youtube channel there is a little uh black icon that has you can click on that and it's my avon store so you can go that way too so let me see if i can find uh where let me try to no okay i gotta put that in i gotta reset oh no I don't gotta resign it. I thought I did, but I don't. Where's my little picture? It was on here before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have had all this stuff pulled up for you guys right away. So what I'm gonna do is type it back in again. Your Avon.com slash W Hatfield. Oh, yeah, I should have had this. I, I did have it pulled up, but what happened was I think it, it signed me out or something because I, I was looking at it this morning. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you go to it. It's got like a little tiny picture of me up in the corner there, right here. And it says, you know, shopping with me. Now, when you start to get into the store, you're going to notice that it says Ward Hatfield instead of Anne because Ward is my husband, although that's his legal name. We call him Keith. Obviously, you know that. So here's all the different, um, just different things, you know, they talk, that are going on right now with the campaign and stuff like that. So um, 
let's see free shipping with your order um, for $40 so you what you'd want to click unless you know for sure that you want to you know look at the bug guard or anything like that we're gonna look um, have you shop the the e-star so I'm gonna go ahead and tap that it's like the reflection is killing me here so I'm gonna pull that up okay so right now then it's going to take you up to this and I wanted to show you guys this because once you do shopping my e-store they're going to show you that there is a special deal going on right now up here in the top right corner spring color spring set only ten dollars with a forty dollar purchase so let's see what that's about we're going to click on that and it'll take you into that you can see like my camera kind of slow huh I got Comcast, so what does that tell you? <laughs> so what you get is this makeup bag. You get a glimmer stick, eyeliner. I think it's in black as black. And then you get a glaze wear lip gloss also. So this is $10. It's a $30 value. And that is uh, $10 with a, any purchase of $40, I believe. I want to make sure that I have that right. Yes. When added to your bag with a $40 campaign 11 purchase one per customer so that's cool um that's a really cute bag too I like stripes and florals together so yes so then there's different ways that you can um you can if you know a product that you want you can go ahead and just put it in the search bar and look for it, or you can shop by the brochure so um right here at the very top in this little area right here you can see it says brochure and you can click on that and here are the different brochures whoops I dropped my tablet now I made it small oh my gosh I have issues don't I you guys I mean for it to pop up big again Okay, so here is the Campaign 11 brochure. And you can just scroll through it page by page by using the tab on the side. Or you can pull down, there's a pull down menu for uh, page numbers or categories like makeup or, you know, whatever you want to do. Now also, what I like about it is see where it says Campaign 11 brochure right here. You can pull that menu down. Let me tap that. And it tells you the other brochures that are available. So you can look at the Mark brochure, you can look at the Outlet, you can look at the Father's Day flyer, you can look at the Avon Living catalog, anything like that, you know, that you want to look at. So you can just click on, let's click on the Outlet. Did I hit Outlet or did I accidentally hit Mark? I hit Mark by accident. Okay, what I'm going to click on is the Outlet. We'll wait for that to pop up. You can see my fancy setup here. So here is the outlet. And the same thing is with the brochure. You can page buy it or you can scroll down by page number or you can just go page by page. So that's kind of how that works. Um, I'm going to go back to the regular Campaign 11 brochure. We're going to look up the name of this lipstick. I think it's called Peach Petunia, the one I'm wearing today. My hair's getting really frizzy because it's, it's, it's going to rain today. So like... It's almost like you can start to see it fuzz up as the video goes on. It gets poof, fluffier and fluffier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit category. And I want to do makeup. So I'll go to where the makeup starts. And then I'm going to search until I find the page with... That lipstick on it so I can show you guys what it is here it is so it looks like it's on page 78 and it's ultra hydrating lip color let me make it bigger so I can read because I don't have my eyes on Okay, let's see. I pull down the shade. Yep, I was right. It's Peach Petunia. So, 
I don't know why it says I want three of them because I don't. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. So, so yeah. I don't know. I just thought I'd look at the e-store. Actually, to be honest with you, it's been a while since I've even gone on my own e-store. There have been times when I ordered off of my e-store because they had like a deal that I wanted to get um, something like a gift with purchase or sometimes they'll have an incentive and I hadn't met it yet. So I'd place an order for my for myself and then get it sent to me so that I could reach my incentive or whatever. But um, that is what's going on with campaign 11. And I realize that that's not like a comprehensive tutorial on how to use the e-store, but most of you guys are pretty savvy at navigating around um, shop. <laughs> most of you guys know how to shop online, <laughs> right? Cause I know I do, that's for sure. So um, I will put the description date or the, Mm, I'm crazy. I will put the um, campaign 11 dates in the description bar below and hopefully next um, for campaign 12 I'll have an actual physical brochure to go through with you guys but if I don't we'll, we'll manage somehow and um, if you need some bug garden pick it up. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, that new foundation and concealer will be coming out in campaign 12. So I am going to order it with my camp with campaign 11 so that I can do a demo for you guys. I'm really excited to try it. Really, really excited to try it. It's been a while since I've um, used any Avon foundation that I like. I like the BB cream, but obviously that got discontinued. And I think this is kind of what they're um, gearing people towards using. It's got an SPF in it and everything. Um, but currently I'm using, um, going back and forth between three different foundations, a Clinique foundation, um, uh, Dr. Jart BB cream and, um, naked urban decay naked foundation. So if I could find an Avon foundation that really worked for me, that would be fantastic. Um, so yeah, so look for that video. And then I am going to do a skincare video. I had, um, somebody angel asked me to do one. I've had people ask me in the past and I didn't really want feel comfortable, but I think now I'm at a place where I feel pretty good about doing a skincare video. So I will be doing that. And um, I don't think there's anything I forgot, but I'm not very organized. You guys know that. I just kind of sit down and go by the seat of my pants and pray for the best <laughs> with these videos that I cover everything I'm supposed to cover. So, um, yeah. So look for the skincare video. And I will have, like I said, a Campaign 12 video. And I know I need to get back to doing some eye looks and stuff like that for you guys. I just always feel like a jerk when I do those. Like, because I'm like, I am not a makeup artist. I, who am I to tell people? But it's, it's I'm, not I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm just showing you how I do it. And I guess that's okay. It's just I'm something I'm not entirely comfortable with ever. But... But that's it. I'm going to let you go. So thank you so much for watching and um, question or comment below. And I will see you in the next video, I hope. All right. Bye-bye, guys.